Hi, I'm Juniper, and welcome to Juniper's World. I hope you're doing well today. I'm doing pretty good myself. Um, today, I am doing September's Faves and Fails. So, if that's something that you'd like to see, uh, stick around. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if any of these are your favorites, or, or your complete fails, or what were your favorites or fails for the month of September. I'd really like to know. I have a lot more favorites than I do fails, which is awesome, I think. So, um, without further ado, let's get to it. And starting with the fails, the first one is Maybelline's Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. Now, I'm not a matte person, but I thought in the summertime, I might, since I'm a little oily in the summertime, I have a hair, since I'm a little oily in the summertime, I thought I would try a matte foundation and I thought mousse sounded very interesting. However, and, you know, I was a little darker in the summertime. However, um, this mousse, to me, sat right on top of my skin and emphasized every line that I have. Every crow's feet, um, my places down here that I've discussed. Now, when I swatched it, um, it felt really good and, and it, it, it'll blend. Okay. Let me rephrase. It'll blend in but it blends into nothing to where you can't see anything at all. So then I needed a little bit more and then it just sat on top of my skin and I didn't like it. Every time I would go to scratch my face, mousse would be under my fingernail and a scratch mark on my face. So this is not something that I particularly cared for. Um, I thought the mousse idea just sounded interesting and that's all it was, was interesting. It was not useful at all. So that was a fail. My second and only other fail is the CoverGirl True Blend Loose Mineral Powder Banana. Now I have tried banana powders. This is ridiculously yellow. I felt like Big Bird. Um, see, it looks much lighter on camera than it does in person. I hate that. In person, it almost, let me see if I can put it on top of that foundation. You're not going to see it. Let's 
See, that doesn't look as yellow as it does in person. There you could see some of the yellow. It was just too yellow. Too. There. It's just too, too yellow. Because I, I thought I would give CoverGirl a chance since I know that they finally went cruelty free. I thought, great, I'm going to try some more of their products. And this one, I just do not suggest. I, I felt like Big Bird. I looked like Big Bird. And that's not really a good look. So this to me was a fail. But now we get to move into favorites. So the first one I have is uh, by the brand Botanics and it's Radiant Youth Refri Refining Microderm Abrasion Polish. Here somewhere, this is a wonderful product. It reminded me a lot of there. It reminded me a lot of uh, Dr. Brandt's microderm abrasion. Uh, it's not, I don't think he calls it a polish. Um, but his microderm abrasion cream, it's a lot like that. And it just left my skin feeling so um, clean and refreshed without it feeling uh, stripped of any um, uh oils. I didn't feel it was stripping. I didn't feel that it was rough. I, it wasn't like there was the hard edges that are in some microderm abrasion products. This is very much a polish and not a scrub. So I just use it gently. Um, I, how I did it was I washed my face, then I would put a, um, a dollop of this on to, uh, my face, rub it in, and then after that, um, take my wash rag, wipe that off and um and then my my skin and then go on with the rest of my nighttime routine i do use this at nighttime so i think this is a wonderful product and the cost um i'll leave the link below the cost was somewhere around twelve dollars or something and I really felt like I got my money's worth. Um, the next product that I have uh, as a favorite is from Pharmacy. And it's the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum with Hydrating Honey and Gentle Flower Acids. And that's what it looks like. You use this in the PM as well. Wash your face. Um, and then this is what you put on it in lieu of. And I suppose you could use your other serums underneath it. But then I don't know how effective this would be. So I wash my face in the evening and put this on directly over it. Um, it says to use it two to three times a week 
and if it's too much, you know, start out slower and build up to it. Um, I didn't need to. Um, two to three weeks was fine. It comes with a nice pump. Um, very, very nice packaging. And you only need to use one to two pumps. And I'm about right here. And I have been using this for about five weeks now. And I'm only to right here. So this, I think, um, is definitely a, a light on your wallet as well. Great product. Um, the next product that I've heard a lot of people talk about, but I didn't realize how good it was until I finally bought it for myself because I thought it can't be that good. It's by Essence and it's a pure nude highlighter. I know, you guys are probably wondering, where have I been? This has been out for months, and we all know how wonderful it is. I thought, it can't be that great. And I finally ordered it off Amazon for, what, $3 or something? And it does. It just leaves a nice, natural glow um definitely not glittery definitely not an iridescent type of um glow it's very natural it's very dewy looking on the skin and um it's I, I think it's very nice for a very natural look. Now, like right now, on my, below my brow bone, you see I have the iridescent, um, an iridescent highlighter. And this is nothing of the sort. You can see how it's just very natural looking and um the texture of it's very soft very silky um let's see see if i can it's right here So there's that, and I really do enjoy this product. I'm really glad that I finally got a hold of it. Um, another favorite that I have that I'm very excited about that I'll be using for a long time, and I did do a makeup tutorial on this, is the Milani Gilded Desires um, palette. And I'm going to blind you with the light. Let me just open it up here. Comes with a big mirror. And there it is. It comes with a highlight, two highlighters and um, uh, 12 pans of, of um, eyeshadow. And I've just been having a lot of fun with that. You can see it's gotten a lot, I've gotten a lot of play with that this month. It's been a lot of fun. Um, now, I bought this and I didn't know that the Milani actually is doing I think this that they have a total of 
five palettes that this is a part of and I only I only saw the one when I picked it up in the store and there's supposed to be five more but I've never heard anybody talk about them I haven't heard any anybody else um, review them um, and and just like the to me the rest of Milani, which I really like, um, they're great eyeshadows. Just like Milani has great blushes, has great um, face, um, uh, not tinted moisturizer, the, the Milani, um, what's it called? Uh, it's it's the it's the tinted moisturizer type product. It's not a foundation. Oh gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, uh, it's it's the um, product that a lot of people like from a lot. Anyway, my point is you don't hear much bad about Milani. Milani is a pretty safe company and this I'm really excited for this and I highly suggest picking it up and then my last favorite of September 2019 is by Fruities Garnier Fruities and it's their Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I haven't even used it in my hair yet today. Because I want to see if you'll be able to see exactly how good it works. After you're done drying your hair, letting your hair air dry, however you do it, just and oh, it's showing up a little bit. It makes your hair just, oh, and it smells good. It makes your hair just shine. I, whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments. What shampoo and conditioner are you using? It's not, well, maybe it's starting out with a good shampoo and conditioner, but it's finishing with this. And now, what does it do for redheads and brunettes and um, uh, darker hair? That, I couldn't tell you. But if you have blonde hair similar to mine, this will make your hair just glow. And it smells delicious. And it's Again, it's maybe $6. And just for those few squirts, this lasts forever. And, I, and I've bought probably three bottles of this since I found it. And I'll keep it in my rotation um, until they discontinue it. So, anyway... That is the end of my September 2019 faves and fails. I also wanted to remind you that I have an Instagram account. And that Instagram name is Juniper the Daisy Flower. All one word. 
Daisy Bing, D-A-Z-Y, Juniper the Daisy Flower. Please head on over there. You can check out some pictures and videos that I take and um, that I don't put on YouTube. And um, then a lot of them might link you back over to a video that you might have missed. So, again, I'm Juniper. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed. If you gave this a thumbs up and comment below on your faves and fails for the month. Or not even for the month. For any time. I'd love to hear especially your faves. So, with that... I will finish this up. Thank you for joining me. I hope wherever you're at, you're healthy and happy. And until my next video, peace.